So it's July 12th, we're out in the bee yard and we're checking to make sure the bees have enough room with the nectar that's coming in here in Grand Rapids. Um, this is a Stevens Bee Company F2. So this, we got an F1 last year. She overwintered. Um, we grafted from her. So her daughter would be a hybrid of our Michigan bees that we've been keeping here, um, as well as Corey's bees. And so we have quite a few of these and they're all doing fantastic. So this is what that box looks like. And it's actually the fourth deep. So there's two, three, four. Four deeps. Um, I just went all the way down to the bottom. Here's an excluder here. Um, just to make sure it's queen right and that there's no swarm cells because they have this packed out. So I'll be adding a fifth deep. Um, and then to kind of walk you through the, the season of this colony. So on 4-6, we added a third deep to it. Um, because it was expanding at that time um, and we had that early early spring and so we we're trying to keep them in the boxes um, as you can see that didn't work very well because on 415 we had to split it so it was queenless we took a split out on 422 so we came back uh, about seven days later knocked down all the queen cells and we gave them our own queen cell which was a Stevens B company F2 um, once again, that was a daughter from the F1 that we got from Corey and overwintered here. Um, 519, we confirmed that it was queen right, and we added a third deep, so we condensed them back down when we took this split out. So we had to add a third deep again, and then OBN is we opened up the brood nest for the queen. We came back on a month later, 620, um, and we, it was queen right again, just confirming, and then we added a fourth deep at that time. And so now today is uh, July 12th. So let me get my marker here. So today is 7-12 and we'll be adding a fifth. And we know it's queen right. So these Corey Stevens SB2s crossed with our Michigan bees are just killing it.